Felipe Massa has been a perfect fit for Williams this season. The Brazilian postponing his F1 retirement to return to the team, replacing Valtteri Bottas, who has since blossomed at Mercedes with two wins. Well, that's what I love to do. I have the opportunity to stay uh, racing for Williams Martini. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy to work with them. For Williams, Massa is a match across many levels. He's mature enough for title sponsor Martini's key demographic. He's also an important source of feedback for the team in understanding the new regulations and a benchmark for rookie Lance Stroll. I'm really happy too to have Felipe in the team. I think uh, you know a driver like him with a lot of experience and these new regulation changes can really help the team in many ways. But will Massa stay on into 2018? Despite scoring 31 points in the first 14 races, the Brazilian was only ever a stopgap, with his Formula E career put on hold temporarily. Another season would ensure the team had stability, with Stroll unlikely to go anywhere given his family's substantial financial contribution. One option is to replace Massa with British driver Jolyon Palmer, who is set to be cut free from Renault and whose father, Dr. Jonathan Palmer, once raced for the team. Another option could be to replace Massa with another former F1 winner, Poland's Robert Kubica. The comeback story alone would be dynamite for marketing, while Kubica would be hungry for results after seven seasons out of F1. He's been given several tests by Renault, but has since been released from his short-term contract, with Carlos Sainz taking the second seat at Endstone, alongside Nico Hülkenberg. The only question mark remains Kubica's fitness over a full race distance, but Massa could be kept on standby. There's no doubt Massa and Stroll are not Williams' strongest ever driver lineup, but in building up for the future, perhaps it's time for the historic British team to take another risk. TheInsideLine.com for everything Formula One.